Hey everyone, it's me, Mary Ellie from Kingdom Cafe, where I talk about sublimation, gift arrangements, and business. And in this past few days, I've been talking about where to get affordable uh, materials for gift arrangements, especially gift arrangements with balloons. And I also um, uploaded a video on where to find the bulk balloons which are a lot better and how to start your business with $20 but it's okay that we're talking about balloons and we're talking about all that good stuff but then you may be wondering how can I start a business related to gift arrangements where I can have the majority of materials to start the business because it's okay to talk about balloons it's okay to talk about where to get the balloons and how to save money and how to start a business with you know twenty dollars but how about the essentials and that's what we're going to talk about today again we are here on timu timu is a great source um timu is um it's working with our budget and that what makes it beautiful. And I love shopping here for that same reason because I consider Timu talking to people who are on a budget. Okay, so if we're going to start a gift arrangement with balloons, we are going to find the essentials here on the search bar. So we're going to go to the search search bar and we're going to search for foil balloons and you can play with um with the words but as you can see look at that i just typed foil balloons and we see foil balloon inflator foil balloons bulk foil balloon sticks these are things that can give you an idea of the things that you need to start a gift arrangement with balloons. So let's go ahead and let's go to the foil balloon sticks. We're going to need foil balloon sticks. And the ones that I recommend are thick because it holds bigger balloons. And also... Um, I really want to say the skinny ones, but they come they are so flimsy. Um and but they're good with very small balloons. So for example, if we are going to find the sticks, for example, this one, you see how skinny it is. It's about 10 to 20 pieces. Okay. So it says that they're selling you 10 pieces for a dollar 53 so that is a good good thing to have these ones are pretty skinny they're very good if you are using i want to say the nine inch balloons okay they're very good with that one let's see if we can find another one and then eventually i'm gonna uh, share an idea with this uh balloon stick stand um, to offer um, balloon gifts for either Christmas, birthdays, any occasion, especially Valentine's Day. And that's another project that I am going to work on um, because I really want to teach you that. Um, look at this one. This one is good as well. 10 to 20 pieces, transparent balloon sticks for $1.20. So this is a good start. Don't go overboard just because you're starting. And as you're building your business, you can um, plan, most of all, just plan um, on what to bring next. And we're going to talk about all these things because I like to... Uh, talk about these topics, especially in the crafting community. We don't hear this a lot, but we have a lot of options. It's just that we need to plan really well. All right, so I want to find the balloon sticks that are thick. Let me see if with adding the word thick will help me out a little bit. 
<laughs> this one. There you go. These ones are amazing, you guys. I love this one. Yes, it says $10. So if you can find um, less quantity for a, a dollar and something, grab them. Because these are perfect for larger balloons. I use these ones not only for the 18-inch balloons, but I also for the 20 to 22-inch balloons, okay? Again, I'm going to remind you that it's best to start small and build your business accordingly, okay? Um, and, of course, they have some in color if you want to do that in color. Look at this one, guys. We found it. 7 to 10 pieces for $2.57. That's not bad. So if you want to grab the 7 pieces, look at that. The 7 pieces is $4.12, but the 10 pieces is $2.57. Look at that. That is a perfect example and grab it while you can. Okay, so now we have the balloon sticks um, and also take a look at this mini Santa Claus. The thinner, skinny uh, balloon sticks and cups, it's perfect for this one. See, five pieces for 90 cents. That's not bad, you guys. Not bad. We are working with our budget, and the budget is still $20, okay? Um, and also, in the future, I want to share um, some gift arrangements with this craft foam circles. There's a lot coming very, 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 very soon. Um, let's see what else we can grab here. Um, so we found the Santa Claus or here is a mini Christmas balloon set, the seven piece. I have this one for a dollar nine. Um, and another thing that I want to show you, um, would be, look at this one, you guys, 18 inch Santa set. For 95 cents. So you get five balloons for 95 cents. There you go. We're still on the budget. Okay. Just giving you options of what's out there, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Really. Um, another thing besides all this. Um, this is all good and beautiful. Look at this one. You get 10 pieces for $1.87. Um, and another thing that I want to share with you that um, I use um, would be, um, let's see, we're going to find it here. Um, so another thing that I find very, 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 very useful. Um, and I'm trying to think about the base of the gift arrangement, okay? Because we're working with the $20 in here. So maybe we can find... Um, I'm trying to think, you guys. Um, so... Let's go here and check out the floral foam. And I do not recommend this floral foam. Now, if, if you can find the floral foam that is for silk flowers and you can get that at the dollar store, um, you can get four of them and that's like $5. Okay. And that could be a good vase for it. Um, if you want to do, let's say tumblers or, um, let's say we want to do coffee mugs as a base.
okay? You can get the Dollar Tree coffee mugs for $1.25 and you can work with those. I just want to give you some options of what's here in Timu, but I think you're better off at the dollar store, to be honest with you. The same thing with the tumblers. But I want to, I want you to see ideas of tumblers. Um... Dollar Tree has the tumblers for $5, and that's not a bad thing either, okay? So we want to get, and I think um, uh, five below. There you go, the store, five below. Five dollars right there as well. And just options. There are so many options out there, you guys. It's incredible think about the guys as well we tend to um reach out to the women but think about also the men um who might enjoy some gift arrangements targeted to them especially guys who are into games you could do a gamer one you can do that for father's day for a birthday and add a mustache balloon i'm going to show you some of that here as well so let's do mustache foil balloons. Okay. So there are many, 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 many options, you guys. Always think about what is it that you want to do? Who do you want to target? Just to say that. And... In my case, Quindom Cafe, our goal in our, yeah, our goal and our mission is to spread God's word through mugs, but also through our products. And our products means t-shirts, tumblers, gift arrangements, and any other, um, you know, giftables that we may launch in the future. It has to reflect that. And that's something that a lot of the, you know, crafting community does not do. So plan it, sit down and plan exactly what you want to do. So if you want to do Christmas, now is the best time to do so. Um, and look at this one. Two-piece matte finish. Dalmatian foil blooms. Let's see the dimensions on this one, if it's here. Look at that, how beautiful. And this is good for guys, for children. Now, this is a 23 inch, okay? It's 23 inch wide and 19 inch in height. You can actually use this if you are doing, for example, like a flat surface, like a gift box, just like I did the gamer, um, the gamer gift arrangements. And if you haven't looked at that, take a look at that video. And so that's an example. So now we looked already at the balloon sticks. Maybe you're going to need, um, like a hot glue gun. Although you can do, you know, hot glue gun and buying it at the dollar store. And you're better off with that one because I hardly ever see a glue gun in here that is a dollar. <laughs> but maybe you're going to do a glue gun. You can also going to need scotch tape. And again, you can find that at the dollar store. Not everything that you're going to buy for your gift arrangement business, you will find it here at Timo. You can find it at the dollar store. But when it comes to balloons and buying them in bulk for a dollar something or possibly 95 cents, you're better off in Timo. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So let me see if there's anything else that I want to show you here. Um... Look at this one. These ones are beautiful. It's six pieces, heart-shaped foil balloons for $1.34. This is perfect to 
to plan ahead for Valentine's Day as well. And of course, in the Valentine's Day, you can add, you know, the I love you balloon, but also you can add like a prayer card that you can also find at the dollar store if that's the route that you want to go. Um, and yes, and this is basically what you need. So it'll be your your base for the for the gift arrangement that could be a coffee mug a tumbler a gift box whatever you want to do then you need some floral foam for silk flowers and you can start with four of them and that's five dollars at the dollar store the gift box you can also and the gift mug even the tumbler you can find it at the dollar store um you're gonna need some tissue paper and the tissue paper you can find it at the dollar store as well whichever is easier for you um and as you can see um look at this one plain white for a dollar 35 but you can get the plain white at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 so you're saving some money in there. Um, in addition to that, and I'd rather for you to go with white tissue paper because it can go with anything that you want to do for the gift arrangement, especially when you're starting. Um, a glue gun that costs a dollar twenty-five. The glue sticks a dollar twenty-five at the dollar store as well. Make a list of the materials that you're gonna need. And then add the price next to it and then plan your budget accordingly. So that way you can little by little, step by step, baby steps, you can build your own gift arrangement business. And then also you need the balloon sticks with the cups and you're also going to need some, even if you need to buy one bulk of uh, balloons that would be fantastic here is why we're gonna go back and we are gonna take a look a at this balloon bulk okay it says 10 pieces nope that's the bad example <laughs> um let's see here okay so then we have these balloons and it's a quantity of 10 for 75 cents. That means that you're not going to use all of them in one gift arrangement. So you're going to get 10 pieces of balloons. That's 10 gift arrangements, you guys. 10 gift arrangements. And you can also add some... Um, mini plush toys or bears or whatever that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Timo has um, some mini, very mini teddy bears that I use it for my, for my gift arrangements. It's called mini plushies. And look how small they are, you guys. Look, they are very, very, very tiny. But it comes with 10 pieces. So here we go. 10 balloons. 10 mini plushies. Okay. And then you're going to find probably like one or two, um, you know, pieces of candy that you can add to it. I like adding um, the kisses, the bags of kisses or the bags of candy from the dollar store. So just work with your budget. You don't have to get everything all at once, but plan it wisely. Um, make sure that you put the price next to it and then break it down in smaller pieces and say, okay, this is what I can afford right now. So I'm going to get this and this for now. And possibly next month, I'm going to, um, set aside $10 and I'm going to go to the dollar store and I'm going to get me some floral foam, this, 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 and that. And then the following month, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you are making the step. And believe me, this is going to help you um, earn the money that you need 
because you're not going to charge what you spent. You're going to charge double. So if you spend, let's say, on an arrangement $10, sell it for $20 or $25, okay? And then you set aside again to replenish what you spent, and then the remaining is going to become yours. So this is an idea that I really wanted to share with you because I know, I know, I know, I know that I talk about balloons all the time. And I'm not talking about what comes with it along with the balloons, okay? For example, the balloon sticks, the foam, um, the base, uh, the mini plushies. Um, and one more thing that I get in here is this thread right here, like the fishing wire or even, you know, regular sewing thread, like the, the very thin one, because this one is going to help you. Um, sometimes I do that for the, um, for the bows. Oh, and yes, that's what I wanted to talk about before I leave. Um, bows. Here we go. Bows. Um, and get that fishing wire. And you can get bows. Or you can get pull bows. However you want to do. But if you want to do it by, by hand. Then try to find the ribbon. In bulk. For example... Uh, let me see if I can find a nice ribbon here. Okay, look at that. For $5.13, you get all this um, ribbon. This red one is perfect for the holiday season and for Valentine's Day. So this is a nice option. You get one set 20 yards. Okay, and this is a great way also to buy in bulk and it's the ribbon. And then I like instead of using pipe cleaners, I use the thread because it holds it even better and it's easier to manage. So there you go, guys. Plan, plan, plan. And believe me, when you have what you need, you will begin your gift arrangement business and then move up accordingly so if you have the money to get an extra thing then go ahead and do so keep selling and again pay yourself and when you pay yourself and set aside money for the business maybe in the next purchase you can buy something extra but work in small increments. Do not go overboard, okay? And always start with family and friends, like I always mention, because we need to get better at what we do before we sell it to the public. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Come join this amazing Quindom Cafe community. I'd love to have you here, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, Crafting Queens.